Hi, uh, welcome to week four. Uh, my name is Robert Mamada, and I am one of the instructors of Math 144. So let's look at what you have to do for week four. Uh, let me pull out the syllabus. Oh, before that, I need to show you a screen. Okay, now you should see the syllabus. So uh, this week, uh, we're gonna talk about financial literacy. And as a matter of fact, uh, you have encountered the formulas we use for this topic in week one, D21, okay? Um, we're gonna use a monthly payment formula and the loan formula, but um, I believe uh, all of you are successful for doing uh, topic one, day two, one. And if you still remember that, uh, you should have no problem with this. So let's take a look. Okay, so uh, we're gonna continue with Alex, obviously. And as always, we have topic four basics, topic four homework, and topic four review. I mean, that's... Uh, quite usual with the other weeks. Now uh, you have a big assignment, major assignment two, and that's what you have to complete. Um, uh, I'm gonna come back to this later, but uh, first I wanna take a look at the details. So topic 41, this is fairly simple. Uh, it just, you know, uh, you know it, it's a reflection about the course. It says, Many students take online courses because they are more convenient for the schedules. What are some of the trade off for taking an online course in a subject such as math? What tools are you using to overcome these challenges? So uh, compared to other weeks, uh, this detail is very easy. It's just uh, your reflection. Uh, topic for detail too, um, since we are asking a lot in major assignment two, Topic for D22 is relatively easier. Uh, this is from um, uh, Alex. Uh, you need to get the template from Alex. Um, so this is a template that you need to fill this out. And I believe this is not that difficult, but if you have trouble with this, uh, you should definitely ask your instructor for questions, okay? Now, uh, let's uh, look at the major assignment two. So major assignment two is this, okay? So we have, on top of that, we have grading sheet. And by the way, uh, for column F, that your instructor will fill out column F. So please don't fill it out, okay? So you have three sheets to complete. So the first sheet, uh, so this is the thing that you need to use a formula from topic one, D two one. And also uh, these formulas are explained in the textbook. So make sure to refer to the textbook uh, as well as topic one, D two one. Second, uh, budget cost projection. Okay. So the inflation rate, yeah, uh, many students get uh, this inflation rate wrong, but this is a difference of the CPI divided by the original CPI. Um, for details, uh, please uh, refer to the uh, resources your, uh, your instructor provide, okay? Finally, we have convergence. So this is about the currency convergence. Uh, Right now, uh, we are still in the middle of pandemic, but uh, once the pandemic is over, some of you may go outside of the United States. In that case, definitely you need to know how to convert your money, okay? So, um, as for the uh, helpful resources for major assignment, first you should take a look at the PowerPoint. Um, this is provided by your instructors and 
uh, this goes step by step what you have to do. Okay, so please review this. And also, uh, your instructor will provide you the videos for major assignment too. So please watch them and also please review this PowerPoint before attempting the major assignment too. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, So if you have question, uh, okay. So always, uh, if you have questions, it's better to ask your instructors, okay? Don't just, you know, uh, complete the major assignment too on Sunday night, uh, submit it and let's see what happens. Uh, it's better to work early. And if you have questions, uh, you need to let us know, okay? Uh, once again, welcome to Big Four, and my name is Robert Mamada. Thank you.